All right. Now, while some of us might have a bit of a chip on our shoulder at times, Marcel Varallo has a chip all the time in his hand. It weighs less than a gram and it costs just $99. And its experiment of having this chip inserted under, the, under his skin that he says could change the way we all do our everyday tasks. Marcel that. joins us now live from Melbourne and I hope the technology is not going to disrupt the camera with us this morning. You could be doing all sorts of sci-fi stuff this morning, Marcel. No, no, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> so what have you done? Because, you know, tattoos and piercings, we know about those, but chips under the skin. Yeah, so um, basically uh, we've all sort of got these uh, lanyards that we carry around that we use to swipe into doors and, and open the office building in the morning, go up and down elevators. Um, and I was just looking for a better way to carry that around. And I gave a few things a try before this, but um, yeah, now it's, it, it seems it's possible. You can put a chip in your hand and, and coat it up and then use it to enter the building and do all the other things that you would normally do with your ID. So We've seen the video that you've made showing that in action. And how do you work the lift? Because we're intrigued by that. Cam mentioned that um, all of us can operate a lift with our hand just by pushing the button, really. <laughs> Uh, so that's actually a secure lift, which means uh, anytime ah. you want to go to a different floor, um, you have to swipe your ID pass. And uh, if you've got it hanging from your neck, it means doing this little awkward dance where you've got to sort of crouch down. And yeah, if you've got a, a tray of coffee with you or something like that, it makes it extremely awkward. I've got to so, say, when I try and get in through the, the doors, the secure doors here at work sometimes early in the morning and I'm rummaging through my handbag trying to find my secure pass, I often hope that I could have had an easier way. But you've had some problems with this technology too. It's not all smooth sailing, is it? No, that's right. So the, uh, the technology was originally built to be about the size of a card, so the antennas were much bigger. Um, so all of the readers and everything uh, that was made for that, they were made with a certain amount of power going through them. So when it comes to something much smaller like this little chip, um, unfortunately there's not enough power going there that you can, um, you can get it every time. Um, also on top of that, you've got the software that has to interface with it. So it's kind of cowboy territory at the moment. Um, Basically, if uh, a large company was to come in and set some standards, I'm, I'm fairly certain that they would uh, they'd basically get to write the book on it. So you've got to sync up with the, uh, the mainframe, as it were. It's like a sci-fi movie that you're living here in real life. Does it That's feel right, weird yeah. to have this thing under your skin? Do you actually feel it? Um, look, you're not aware that you've got it. So at the moment, um, unless someone asks about it, I don't really notice it. But um, Where is it? Show us. It's right here in my left hand. And if I just push down a bit, you can see just Ooh. the end of it sort of sticking out. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh tightened on me now. So it can actually be kind of difficult to find, but it is right there. You can sort of still see the little entry scar there. Um, but and, yeah. And you can still, you can feel it there under, under the skin. You oh can yeah. Easily... If you touch it, you can feel it definitely. Did it hurt? Uh, it actually hurt a lot less than you would expect. I would suggest um, the ear piercings were a little more painful. Now, I'm hearing too that there are some uh, unexpected benefits from this, that it might actually <laughs> help you with the ladies. Uh, yeah, so I've um, been out a couple of nights and uh, someone mentions the chip and uh, the first thing they want to do is they want to see it, show me how it works. And um, at the moment, it's got my business card on it. So oh. that's got my uh, phone number and that. So. I've ended up uh, giving out my phone number to more girls in the last few weeks than I have in the last couple of years. So wow. that was a bit of a, an odd thing. Smooth operator. And I guess <laughs> it's a good talking point anyway for at the bar. You know, uh, hi there, uh, check out my hand, check out my chip, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> it does sort of bridge the gap between nerdy and, uh, and whatever else. <laughs> um, usually if they don't like the nerdy side of things, that's the uh, morbid curiosity that, uh, that gets them. So, yeah. Well, well, it is uh, an intriguing development. It could be the way of the future. Thanks so much for joining us. Not a problem. Thank you.